video we will discuss on uh, how do we prepare for the arithmetic section in the quantitative aptitude for cat i've heard lot of people telling that they are really good at arithmetic section but still end up getting uh, 70th percentile 65th percentile in the quanti quantitative aptitude section it clearly states that you are not as good in the arithmetic section as much as you think you are so definitely rethink your uh, idea the idea behind that is uh, even in CAT 2018, we had around 15 plus questions that were arithmetic questions. Arithmetic questions are the, the basic questions in the quant. Before you hit, let's say, number theory or geometry or uh, fancy ideas like permutation probability, reminders, trigonometry and all of that. Arithmetic forms the basis of how do you operate with numbers, how comfortable you are with uh, addition, subtraction, division, percentages, decimals, fractions, rates, all of this matters. So, so definitely make sure you ramp up your uh, preparation in terms of arithmetic to start with. So if you are a fresher looking at preparing for quantitative aptitude for CAT and then you got a book or handed down materials and you want to start your preparation and you are looking at, uh, uh, let's say you start off with number theory because everybody says number theory is something that is really important and you are hitting a roadblock after roadblock where you feel like uh, I'm getting nowhere, I'm reading lots of theory, I'm trying to practice lots of questions. In spite of that, I go and try and take a test, then I'm not getting anywhere, I'm not able to answer questions. Then arithmetic is the place for you to start. If you are someone who has already taken the exam and crossed 80th percentile, 85th percentile in the quantitative section, then probably you know your strengths and weaknesses, so plan accordingly. Those who have uh, taken this exam already and thought that you are good in quants but have scored less than 70th percentile in the quantity aptitude section, take it for granted. I'm telling you that you're not so good in the arithmetic section or at least it needs a lot of rework to be done. So go hit your basics. This is to start with how, as in what is arithmetic section all about. Now we'll kind of split this section into four chunks. The first chunk will be percentages, profit and loss and uh, simple interest compound interest as, as an extension of percentages. The second big chunk will be uh, ratio proportions, mixtures and averages. Averages is the uh, opposite of uh, weight, weighted averages and uh, mixtures are one way or the other. So these three will be forming the second big chunk. The third chunk is uh, speed time distance, races and uh, as an extension of this in a way where you have uh, rates which is uh, pipe system work time and this is the third bigger chunk. The fourth chunk includes a lot of small ideas, some bits and pieces of solving equations, uh, progressions. Progression is technically covered in algebra, not in arithmetic, but some parts of it. And you also have uh, logs, exponents, clocks, calendars, binomial theorem, all these small ideas that you need. So we will have a detailed video on how to solve on each of these, at least on these big three chunks first. Now, how to prepare for this arithmetic section uh, on the whole so the basics are practically same you learn really well from the basics learn from first principles that is very important very vital uh, then you go on to practice lots of questions then you take lots of marks or sectional tests for practice where you look at cat level questions the idea or the key here lies in practicing the second part practicing lots of questions that need not be fancy enough like a cat question but they are simple but it gives you so much more questions to practice you become automated when you see an equation or when you see a percentages you you are used to the idea of how do i look at this from a different Way. How does the question questionnaire think of me wanting to look at this question? That becomes vital. So the more number of simple questions that you solve in this topic, you are setting up yourself for nailing any question in the actual CAT level question. So this is how you kind of prepare for this section called arithmetic. Take it for granted. I, I, I've personally uh, taken only these questions and I know several people who have nailed this exam with lot of emphasis on arithmetic section. So uh, if you are prepared really well for arithmetic section, you are definitely looking at north of 83, 84, 85th percentile in the CAT exam. So the numbers could vary slightly, but you are definitely looking at a much larger number and that is without breaking a sweat. As in, in your CAT, the most important part is how tired you get. And especially quant being the third section in the exam, you are already drained out. You have read a lot of passages and then you have solved high heavy duty DI and LR. Now you are looking at 
quantitative aptitude and if you are someone like me who is not really comfortable with numbers then all the more reason for you to hit arithmetic because arithmetic can be solved with ideas rather than uh, plugging in formulae and uh, only because by practice so remember arithmetic is the section without breaking a sweat you can nail this section you can nail it's so well that you will clear all sectional cutoffs if you are looking at 99.88 then probably this advice is not for you but to start off this is a great place to start if if you are someone who wants to look at data interpretation logical reasoning number theory reminder start off with this get used to the idea of sitting in a place for two hours learning an idea after an idea solving putting your head down and putting pen and paper and solving questions these are questions that are simple enough so that you go don't hit a roadblock too often so you get used to the idea of practice thereby what happens is you get used to the idea of cat preparation as a whole which will probably give you better results than if, if you start off your cat preparation journey with let's say geometry or number theory best wishes for cat prep